Hey, what's up, you guys? Sentai22 here with a SH Figure Arts review. Actually, the very first uh, Sentai Figure Art. Today, I'll be checking out Shinkin Red. Now, personally, I would have preferred Aka Red from the very first uh, Sentai Team Go Ranger to be the first Figure Art or the first Six Ranger, uh, Dragon Ranger, aka from Jew Ranger, uh, aka the Green Ranger. But uh, I guess since Shin Kanger is becoming very popular amongst the Sentai fan base as well, if you look at the first two episodes of Go Kaiger, um, the the second transformation um, they they transformed was uh, the Shin Kangers. The first it was a Go Ranger, and then the second was uh, second was the Shin Kangers. And in the second episode, the little boy transformed to Shinken Red, a very small Shinken Red, actually. So, yeah, it's becoming, you know, a very popular series next to Jetman right there. So, yeah. All right, now let's take a look at the packaging. Now, as you can see, you have a very nice, very cool revamp packaging. In the Kamen Rider figure arts, you usually have, like, the uh, the the stock photo of the... the, the uh, the riders from the show instead of the figure. Uh, as you can see you have the uh, figure art of Sheik Kanger right on the side, very cool. Also you have nice uh, gold line and red lettering on, on it which says Shinkin Red, very cool. Very nice gold line right there, very nice as you can see. You can uh, look at my face, very blurred face on the kanji. Very cool. Also in the back you have all of the stuff that Shinken Red does. Here you have uh, Shinken Red holding his Daizato. Here holding his uh, Shinken Maru. And here in the bottom you have him holding his uh, Origami. So very awesome. I'll open this guys. So let me pause this camera for a bit. Alright, now I just opened the packaging and here it is, Shinken Red. Very, very awesome. Not bad for the first uh, SH fig, Sentai fig art. So, uh, let's look, take a look at the figure very closely. As you can see, have a nice sculpted uh, Shinken Red helmet. Very nice. Also, you have a nice detailed uh, uh, Shinken Red logo. I mean, Shinken Angel logo there. Very cool. Also, you have the uh, disc though where he puts all his discs. Um, as well, you have the holster where he puts his Shishi Origami. As well, the other holster where he puts his um, Shinken Maru. So, now, in terms of articulation, um, this thing is very stiff. Uh, this thing has very stiff joints, so you have to be very, very careful with it. Uh, for that, I'm not going to try to pose him in any way. I'm just going to show you the art, the head articulation turns 360 degrees. So, yeah, the reason for that is because I uh, heard some stuff on Ranger Board that there were some people that broke the inside of the, uh, the, the I think, the, to the, the torso uh, bolt joint. So, you know, I try to keep, you know, not posing it as much as possible, so... For those of you going to buy it, you know, just try to be careful. So, all right, now let's take a look at the accessories. All right, here we have the accessories. Here we have, uh, first off, the Shinken, Mor the Shinken Maru. Very nice. If you look closely, you see the um, animal disc there, as you can see. It's too bad you can't spin it, though. Also, you have your fist hands, you have your your uh, fist hands, you have your open hands. Also, you have the, uh, origa the Shishi Origami in Origami mode and the Shishi Origami in Animal mode, which is kind of awesome because it actually has its own articulation on the, on the front legs. Very, very cool. Also, you have the uh, Shoto phone in pen mode. Unfortunately, the one in phone mode uh, was is not there. I guess they had to make some sacrifices. Uh, also, the biggest accessory of the mold, so big in fact, that it actually had its own casing for it. The Daizato. 
very very nice one thing cool about it is is that it has this uh, spinning feature right here it's too bad it doesn't have it on the uh, Shinken Maru which is a kind of a disappointment but I guess like I said you'll have to make sacrifices very nice detail right there on this on the front on the front sword very cool has the nice kanji there very cool so all right now for a size comparison here we have ranger operator series gold from power rangers rpm and here we have uh... jungle fury red ranger now as you can see ranger operator series gold is a little bit smaller than shinken red but they're kind of the same size with uh... uh... A jungle fury red ranger um, all in all it's a very great figure although there's uh... one downside which i wish they could have uh, done with as uh... If you look very closely, you'll see that the shoulders don't really match the redness of the torso or any other part of the red in the figure. If you look very closely, I mean, if you look at the packaging, it looks very convincing, but it's not. It's dark red, and pretty much the entire uh, body is all light red. Uh, I don't know why this is like this, but, you know, it's kind of disappoint disappointing. It just, it just looks very, very odd to me. Um, as well as feels very you know not it's all right you know it's not that bad um also um the, the 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 stiffness of the joints i mean you have to be very very careful so yeah that's about it if you're a big fan if you're a big fan of of shinkanger or power ranger samurai you're gonna love this figure um also there's uh shinken red shinken green and shinken blue coming out uh, but it'll only be a Thomas Shi Web exclusive so you may have to pay a hefty buck for those two as well as the female Rangers uh, those will fetch him from 70 bucks a pop so you know be prepared to pay a lot for those if you wanna have the complete set um, I do know that Shinken Gold is gonna be a regular release uh, it's gonna be the same price as uh, Shinken Red so don't worry about that so um, that's about it pretty much uh, please you guys join me next time i have a upcoming review on the gokaio yes i actually bought the deluxe gokaio so be on the lookout for that this is sentai 22 and i'm out